I picked this color and texture of the rug because it's warm and it actually has a very sensual feel. And don't we all need a little bit sort of sensual vibes in the bedroom? Hi, I'm Joy, are you Simone? I'm Joy Moiler, I'm an interior designer and I'm about to make over Simone's bedroom in one afternoon. Do you wanna come in? Hi, I'm Simone, I live here with my partner and our dog. We've been here for a year now. We basically spent some time sourcing some furniture from like Facebook Marketplace and then just kind of ran out of steam. I don't always get the best sleep. A lot of light comes in, it can be noisy. Love the room, but it doesn't function as anything more than just a place to keep our bed that we don't sleep well in. So this is uh, all for you. <laughs> well, we want to get started right away and we've got a lot to do, yeah. so <laughs> see you later. See you later. Ciao. Bye. One of the things that Simone talked to me about is that she's having a difficulty sleeping in this apartment. There's a lot of light leaks that comes through. There's also a great deal of noise. And what we're going to be doing today is we're going to replace these beautiful sort of translucent drapes with the blackout shade. And some of the benefits of blackout shades is that they reduce the light leaks for a better night's sleep. And they also, due to the heaviness of the textile, reduce the sound as well. Voila. And the light is gone, like magic. We're adding night tables because they had no storage near the bed. It's very functional. It'll house a table lamp as well. And it just kind of creates really clean lines that continue to flank the bed along with the verticality of the drapery. And who doesn't need more storage? Bedside lighting is an absolute must, particularly if you find a lamp that provides a three-way switch. It gives you the opportunity to modify your lighting according to mood to the time of day. I particularly love a lamp that is dual purpose where you can buzz up your phone or your music or whatever. Plants are not only beautiful, they help to assist in better air quality and getting oxygen into the room to help you have a better sleep. This is a rubber plant, which is really great because it doesn't make dogs sick if they tend to nibble on it. Your bedroom is gonna hit all your senses. A calming candle, when it's protected from being knocked over by pets or children, is a lovely thing to have in a bedroom. They sort of recommend lavender for the evenings or citrus scent to kind of wake you up in the morning and stimulate your senses. But make sure you put it out before you go to bed and keep it a safe distance away from any window treatments. I'm shifting this bed over slightly so that it frames the window frame. Symmetry in a room really gives your eyes an opportunity to just rest and just create a better sense of wellness in the space. Bedding is a really, really important part of home maintenance and self-care. A lot of attention gets given to the quality of sheets and you'll see a lot of manufacturers who say, oh, you have to have a 600 count sheet. I don't think that is really important because there's great bedding on the market that is even like 300 and 400 count. You can get an inexpensive set that's just as great on your skin. The higher thread counts actually trap heat in your body. I will put my hand sort of between the sheet or the pillow and just hold it for about 20 seconds. And if my hand starts to get warm fast, I know that that's not the right content for me. Like many things in life, you have to select the thing that actually works best for you, not what's necessarily market driven. When shopping for a pillow, keep in mind the type of sleeper that you are. It's all about creating comfort and neck supports as you're sleeping. If you are a stomach sleeper, you want the absolute flattest pillow that you can find. If you sleep on your back, 
you want a medium sort of density pillow. And if you sleep on your side, you really need the thickest density for your neck support. So definitely keep all of these things in mind and just don't arbitrarily find any pillow because it will definitely affect the quality of your sleep. This is a pillow that gives you that option of removing some of the density simply by unzippering its liner and then you get to the innards here and you're able to extract some of its content. I actually find it very therapeutic to make my bed. I find that some place where you spend so much of your time isn't something that should be relegated to just be something that you do loosely. I actually give a lot of honor to my bed because I love it so much. This color palette was selected because it's very quiet. It doesn't have a lot of pattern to distract the eye. There are colors that you see in nature that are comforting ones. And all these little things just make it a whole lot easier for you to sleep at night. This weighted blanket here is another option of finishing your bed dressing. It weighs 15 pounds, but some people find that this sort of makes them feel very sort of cocooned, increases their ability to sleep as well. Just remember you have to take it off your bed in the morning to get out, which could be a problem, but to each his own. I am putting down a non-slip carpet pad. Lord knows you don't want to slip and bump your head in the middle of the night if you're getting up. And so this pad will keep the sisal rug from shifting as it's being walked on. I picked this color and texture of the rug because it was a great starting off point from the finish on the four poster bed. This sisal is a very earthy texture and weave as it's from palm plants. It's very inviting and it's warm and it actually has a very sensual feel. And don't we all need a little bit sort of sensual vibes in a bedroom? Also, it's a great background to any other color that's used in the space. Rugs like window treatments help to absorb sound in a room. So if your neighbor's playing loud music, you can sleep at night. I wanted to add a seating element to the bedroom because it's always nice to have a lounge seat and put your feet up and watch television or engage in conversation with someone who might be laying on the bed. And it's a great place just to kind of relax, work from home, and the fact that it swivels is just kind of everything. Next up, we're going to add a side table. I selected this table because of its lightness, its scale, but more importantly, its transparency. Really lets light flow through it. It keeps the space nice and light versus another option. It might have a solid top that feels much denser and much more crowded. We're replacing the tall bureau that was here with a floor standing mirror. It'll just help them give a last look before they head out the door. We're adding under bed storage here to maximize the storage opportunity because that's what you need to do in a small space. Well, Simone, we listened to your thoughts and your wish list, and so welcome to your bedroom. Oh my God, this is so pretty. And it's so like shiny, <laughs> like it's beautiful and very cozy. You know, your wish list of wanting a more earthy sort of environment yeah. and concise places to store things. We gave you a much wider bedside table, which yeah. has storage in it. We had no storage, we were using the window, so. Well, basically <laughs> so you have amazing. about 80% more now. Yeah. A plan is always nice to increase the 
oxygen in the room. I've never owned a plant before. Well, so. you can't kill that one. It's rubber. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good. Also, one of the things you really said that you were having trouble with is mm -hmm. sleeping in here. So we eliminated your more transparent drapes and replaced them with a true blackout shade. Those are blackout curtains. Those like are blackout oh, curtains. Yes, yes. Also, I love a good swivel chair. The swivels? Yeah, with a little table. It's a kind of little oh, sitting space. Because you said you don't have a place to sit up. You just get in your bed and fall asleep. Added some bright graphic artwork to tie in the palette. That's gorgeous. Over here. This beautiful earthy sisal rug. A natural element in the room. My dog will love it. Also <laughs> helps to deaden the sound a little bit. To my downstairs neighbor will thank you. For yes. That. So everything that covers this bed was really intended to produce a good night's sleep. And the goal was really to have your bed feel like it's hugging you. So yeah. <laughs> that's perfect. That is the I'm beginning of a good right night's back. sleep. But you're going to really fall in love with these blackout drapes. I'm and I want an email to tell me how much you love them. I will send you a handwritten letter. Thank you so much. Obviously never could have done this myself. This is really big. Like you said, if you can't sleep and feel rested in your own room, then it's so soft. Do you think you can get a good night's sleep yes. on those sheets? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs>